My favorite part about Fairfax is all the teachers. All the teachers are very nice. Our staff here is just committed to making sure that kids are engaged and really working hard to make sure that we are making learning meaningful for kids. We do something that's really neat that I know a lot of the other schools have since embraced called One School, One Book. So One School, One Book is when the whole entire school gets a book. In order to promote lifelong readers, reading needs to be fun. The goal of it is to really bring together families across Fairfax. So the books that we choose are usually high interest and they are things that um, can bring kindergartners together with fifth graders. The teachers are reading it, parents are reading it, and it's a really neat way to bring everybody together. I think we do this to bring our school together. Project 5 was one of the initial locations across the district to really bring to light the blended learning aspect and that change in what a classroom looks like. And so the purpose of it was just to sort of expose our students, especially those in fifth grade going over to Memorial, they're going to be exposed to some of this. It's sort of that stepping stone for them so that they can see I can learn from a high top table, I can learn from a pod chair, I can learn at a desk with a swivel chair, and they get to choose where they sit. So it gives them that um, authority over their learning and really that choice is huge for them. So I would say that that space definitely has had an impact on myself and other teachers in the building to think about and reflect about their teaching and really make things purposeful and meaningful for kids. Fairfax was one of the first buildings to do an assessment wall and so what the assessment wall is is we just have students placed on the wall at the beginning of the year and we chart their progress over the course of the year to ensure that there's growth. Our assessment wall provides us an opportunity to visually see where students are performing and what are we doing specifically to help that student improve and get to be a better reader both fluently and using comprehension strategies. So here at Fairfax, we have many opportunities to get involved with our community. One way is through food drives. We do it because we know that there are some people who don't have food and that they need food, so we think that it's a good idea to give that to them. We also do a mitten tree in the winter months just to give to families in need through Project Hope. We collect all kind of winter stuff like gloves, scarves, um, I think once um, socks and we just do that so that we know that kids need that kind of stuff to stay warm in the winter. That's one of the most amazing things about children is they are, they have the biggest hearts and they are so giving and willing to help out those in need. I like participating in that because it's nice to help people that you know actually need help and that really need what you're trying to give them. This year we started a kindness wreath and so every time a student is caught doing something kind and it may not be all the time because obviously we don't always get caught, they are given a ribbon and the ribbon is then tied onto this wire wreath that we started at the beginning of the year. And as a staff, all of us from teachers to helpers to volunteers are really kind of looking for the kinds of behaviors that include kids and that are using kind words and we just hope that by the end of the year we'll have a wreath of ribbons. All the ribbons are different, have different patterns, but our school, our goal is to make sure that we have a big wreath. We have Student of the Month, where every month we highlight a different um, component of a student's personality. So it might be that they're compassionate, that they're honest, that they're happy. And we honor them at an assembly. In years past, we have honored them at a breakfast where they were able to attend with their parents, but we thought we would change things up a little bit this year. And we will be recognizing them with a certificate and a t-shirt, and they will be called forward in front of their peers to recognize their positive choices and their good behavior. I was recognized for helpful in my class. So it just means that the teacher saw me being helpful around the class and around the school. We are a community. We work together. And together, we really can rise up to help students achieve their best.